Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. Today I'm going to be making pepperoni pizza and I got all the ingredients so I've got to make some crust mix, sharp cheddar cheese, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and some ragu, ragu sauce. pizza sauce. And what I'm going to do is follow the directions, make the, um, the crust to begin with. That's got to sit. This one's easy. You can use regular pizza dough. You can get pre-made. You can get the roll, roll up kind, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. Half a cup of water and then you're going to have to let it sit for a little while. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get it all ready and then get the crust prepared. Put it on a pie. Put it on a pizza tray and then I'm going to cook it in the oven and top it up and we'll see what it, how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this pizza crust mixed up and in a bowl and get that going. Okay, so according to the recipe, I've mixed up the dough, put it in a bowl, let it sit for about five minutes and it's covered. It kind of rose up a little bit. I'm gonna put it on a um, floured, I'm going to put it on a floured board and then I'm going to roll it out and I'm going to put it on the pizza pan. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of flour on there and then I'm going to roll this out and on there. So I'll show, show you what it looks like when I get it all done. Okay, so I went ahead and rolled it out. I've got it on the pizza tray and I'm going to go ahead and top it and start the oven up and then put it in there and see how long it takes to cook. So I'll be right back. All right, so there we go. It's all sauced. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cheese and the pepperoni on top. Okay, there we go. It's all topped, ready to go in the oven. And I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. All right, guys, there's the pizza all ready and done. Go ahead and cut it up and show it to you. All right, guys, there you go. All ready and done. Pepperoni crust pizza homemade. And crust could have turned out a little bit better, but for a bad crust, it wasn't bad. So there you go. Another episode of What's for Dinner. Hope you enjoyed this one. Yeah. So don't forget, if you liked the video, Go ahead, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you won't miss any future content. Or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time, Andrew's Food Reviews. Talk to you later.